Okay, so I'm here inside Lens Studio. I have a new blank project, and I'm going to start this lens off by adding a face retouch. So up in the objects panel, I'm going to click this plus button, and you can either scroll through, or there's this handy search bar. You can search for face, then find face retouch. I'll add that. So now you can see in our scene, we have this 2D view. On the left side is the unaltered image, and on the right is the retouched. And over here in the inspector panel, we have the various parameters that we can change. There's skin softening, teeth whitening, eye sharpening, and eye whitening. And you can disable any of these if you want, and you can adjust the strength. Do not bump things all the way up to the top. You're going to get some really weird looking things. Let's just change this um, different device. We can get a little closer. You can see there's kind of like a crisscross pattern. Uh, so let's try to keep this down um, a little more reasonable. We want a subtle effect. We don't want it to be overbearing. Now, the other option here is the face index. The face index is which face we're looking at. And Lens Studio starts at zero. So if I change my preview to one with uh, two people, our face retouch will be applied to one face, but not the other. And it'll be whichever face that Lens Studio Snapchat happens to find first. So if you want to let multiple people uh, use this face retouch, all you have to do is make sure you have it selected here in the objects panel and hit Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac, and that will duplicate it. Now, the second one selected, just bump up that face index to one. So this retouch will affect the first person, and this one will affect the second person. And we can add a few more if we want. I believe Lens Studio and Snapchat can detect up to 10 faces, but it's very unlikely you'll have those many faces uh, present in a single lens. Uh, so let's just add four for good measure. Now there is a separate kind of retouching that lots of people like to add, and that is actually using the face stretch to distort someone's face. Now they aren't doing like crazy distortions. They're doing things like making your nose smaller, plumping up your lips, maybe making your cheeks a little slimmer. Now I personally never include a face stretch in a beauty filter. I don't want to be changing the shape of someone's face. 